Welcome back to Three Sport. Talking about infield today. Okay, you can see we have up on our feet now, we're using our gloves. It's gonna be really simple. This is kind of what we do to warm up uh, on our feet and get our hands going forward. We're just gonna work picks from the front, from the forehand, and from the backhand. But there's a couple different cues that we wanna look for to make sure we're doing them right. Okay, so come a little closer, Cal. Okay, so just like hitting here, we wanna make sure our butt is away from us a little bit. That's gonna push our chest over the ball. Okay, if our chest isn't over the ball, our eyes are further away, and now we don't have as much range with our hand. Okay, so one, making sure your knees aren't this way. We want our butt back, chest over the ball, and we're able to move and sway with the ball wherever we throw it. Okay, so with your partner here, you're just throwing a nice, easy one-hop dart. So go ahead. Okay, get your butt down a little bit, both of you. Get your chest over. Good. Okay, you can see that when they do miss the ball, how he just did, it's not going to the left or right. If your hand's moving forward, then we're gonna get that nice bobble, hopefully somewhere where we can pick it up barehanded and still make a play. Okay, that's why I'm really big on keeping that palm open and working towards the baseball here. Okay, you can see from the front, it's pretty easy. Once we start doing forehands here, so go ahead, forehands. So this is, we wanna focus on almost like you're catching the ball from second base on a steal here. Okay, so catching a short hop, is a lot easier if you do it below your knees, on the way up, or on the way down. If that doesn't make sense, we just don't want this action right here to catch short hops, none of that. We wanna stay down here with our head close to our waist and make sure that the ball is just bouncing off the ground when we're catching it, and that'll be a nice, easy transfer. So now we're gonna work backhands, so they're gonna open up a little bit for backhands, so go ahead, open up. Good, you can see again, the bobble, totally fine. We're gonna make sure that the ball is, in, is close to our body here. We're not jabbing at the ball here. We have a nice stiff wrist on backhands and our elbow is pointed towards where we want our glove to go. So go ahead. You can see they're nice and soft with their hands. You don't hear too much of the ball. They're trying to catch it in their palm and they're staying low with the ball while they're receiving, okay? A lot of these drills don't work though if you're not giving your partner a good feed and they've done that pretty good so far. So make sure you give your partner a nice one hop feed. Go ahead one more, make sure his hands are going forward. Good, last thing to kind of look for is make sure that thumb is pointed down for backhands. If our thumb is pointed anywhere else, then that glove is following that way. So our glove, we want it as open as possible for backhands with enough pocket to work through any hop that we're not used to. 